Hi, today I want to show you how I go ahead and tape and paper a drawer. I do this when I can't just take off the drawer fronts. So if your drawer front is kind of attached to the drawer itself with like an adhesion and you can't just pop it off, you're going to want to go ahead and tape the drawer and put paper on it. Now, if you're going to brush and roll your cabinets, all you have to do is tape it. You don't need the paper. But if you're going to spray the cabinets, you're going to need the paper. And I'll show you how I do that. There we go. I go right up against that drawer front. I'm going to tilt this up. And I go all along that drawer, going around that little hinge thing. I'm going to get this a little closer. And I'm doing the same on the other side about going over that little hinge or the railing. So if you're just going to brush and roll, this is fine. You can get in there without getting anything on the sides or up here on the drawer. But again, if you're going to spray, I go ahead and do the second part. So, I'll go ahead and do that. I don't go all the way up to the edge with this. I just go down a little bit. And I'm going to put, I'm going to get my tape out again and go over it. So now, I've got the tape right here, and I'm taping it down on the other tape. So it's kind of double tape. I'm going to go ahead and tear that off. Press that down. Let's see how I'm doing over here. Do the same. And I do go all the way around because when you're using that sprayer, it will, if this isn't really taped down, it's going to, the air from the sprayer is going to blow it up and around. So I go all the way around so it's good and solid. And there you have it. Your drawer is all taped all around so you can get those sides the inner sides and you can spray it and not have to worry about anything getting on the sides it's going to be a perfect crisp line all the way around and that's how i tape the drawers